Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a quick daily dash. We are driving over to the post office. I got 12 orders of shoes to mail out. Got a, a social media post from Tony Ferguson and anytime he posts, his shoes sell. They sell like crazy anytime he posts. So we got like 10 orders literally yesterday, right after he just made a quick story post that his shoes were on sale for the Black Friday sale. So if you guys haven't yet, get yourself some shoes. Uh, we, because I'm not sure when this video out is coming out, because I'm like seven days ahead on videos. Today is, <coughs> today is Monday, the 22nd. So I don't know when this video is actually going to come out, but I will keep the Black Friday sale open for a few days after. So if you're seeing this video on the first or second or third day that it came out, you can still use the Black Friday discount code. Just Black Friday, all one word. Anyways, today. We're talking about a funny story I have. It's actually, it's really funny, really awkward. It happened to me the last week that I was in Florida. I told the guy when, when this happened that I was like, I, you know I'm gonna talk about this because it's very awkward and funny how you approached me. So I'm gonna talk about it. He was like, okay, okay. Like he was like, I don't know. I think he, he was, he, I know he watched the channel. Anyways, okay, so let's get to the story. So it was about four days before I left Florida, which was April or October 26th or so. I'm in the sauna. It's probably about 11 o'clock at night, maybe close to midnight. I'm at the Crunch Fitness uh, in the Temple Terrace area in Tampa Bay, Florida. Okay, so I'm in the I'm in the sauna, which I usually go to the sauna pretty late at night, like usually around 11 o'clock or so, right? So in the sauna, you're typically in your underwear something right anyways so I'm in the sauna this guy's staring at me I'm like I'm just trying to be like not awkward about it but I'm like I can tell that guy is staring at me I'm not gonna look at him because I don't want him to hit on me or something you know not that I like him like grossed out by gay guys or anything like that lots of gay friends just don't really want to be hit on by dudes anyways Hopefully that doesn't come across as homophobic or something. I don't know. Someone's going to hate hate on me in the comments. But anyways, that's just what's going through my mind at that time. I'm like, don't look at this guy or he's going to talk to you. Anyways, this guy is staring at me for about 15 minutes in the sauna. I'm like, okay, I'm out of here. Like, it's been 20 minutes. Usually sit in the sauna for about 20 minutes. So I, I go. I take a shower real quick. I'm over at the locker changing. I'm butt naked and this guy comes up to me because I had my earphone out like I had my earphones in the entire time I was in the sauna so it wasn't a good time to talk to me I have my earphones out because I just got out of the shower and this guy comes up to me and introduces himself his name is Antonio and he's like I watch your YouTube channel and I was like oh dude I thought you were like trying to like I thought you were gonna hit on me or something he was like, I mean, I thought about it, and then I realized I watched your YouTube channel. I was like, uh, yeah, like, I'm naked right now, so it's kind of awkward time to, like, come up and meet me. It's definitely the most awkward time to meet someone who watches your YouTube channel is when you're butt naked, your dick is out, and someone's coming up to you to shake your hand and just admit it that they were thinking about hitting on you. Anyways, okay, so I just thought that was like the most awkward moment and I was like I, I have to make a video about this because that was really awkward what you just did and he was like, okay But Antonio if you're watching this Nice to meet you, man. But anyways, I've met a handful of dashers like Around the city like even one came up to me in the while I was like in the process of filming a YouTube video at that gas station I just passed met lots of random dashers just like in the in the just in the civilization never when I was butt naked in a gym locker room though that was a first and hopefully probably hopefully the last to be absolutely honest anyways let me know what you guys think down below would you ever approach someone when they were butt naked in a gym locker room Thank God he didn't ask for a photo because that would have been really weird. I'm just saying. <laughs> Anyways, all right, I'll get right back to you guys as soon as we drop off these shoe orders. Pull up to the post office in about one minute. Hopefully we get a dash. If not, 
whatever. Gas is too expensive to do dashing right now anyways. I also forgot to mention, Mr. Antonio had DM'd me on Instagram while I was sitting in the sauna and says, is this you? <laughs> while I was sitting in the sauna, he, he DM'd me to see if I would like look at it, but because I didn't follow him on Instagram, it just goes to my message requests and I don't have notification turns on for message requests. So unless you're like, unless I'm following you or something, I don't get your message right away, you know? Anyways, he had messaged me. So I guess it was less awkward because he tried to like contact me first. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to think about the whole thing. He still approached me while I was naked in a freaking locker room. So it was kind of funny. Awkward. I had to tell my roommates after. I was like, dude, you're not going to believe what just happened like right now. <laughs> and then later at night, I was like, I discovered, I was like, oh, he actually sent me a couple of messages. But anyways, all right, be right back. All right, man. I prepay for my packages nowadays, like thank God, when we first started mailing out shoes and stuff, I would have to literally wait in the line like two to three times a week. Uh oh, this could be a very bad phone call. Be right back. All right, we're back. Anyways, we got one of my performers is like, got the worst weather in Myrtle Beach, North Carolina right now. So their flight is delayed like super late and we're supposed to leave for San Antonio in about nine hours or so and he's still got to fly to Fort Lauderdale and then to here and it's a shit show right now apparently on the East Coast. Anyways, today I want to talk about ways you can get fit without going to the gym. Just a quick little tip to throw in at the end of the video because we're not going to do any dashes right now. I still got so much stuff I got to do. There's no way I could do a dash. Anyways, so a lot of people come up with the excuse of, oh, I can't work out because I don't have time. It's the worst excuse I've ever heard in my life. If you are gonna come up with that excuse, then here's a perfect home workout for you. This is probably my favorite one to do at home. All you need is a pull-up bar. And you know what, if you don't have a pull-up bar, just scratch the pull-ups and you still have, you have no excuses. Anyway, so what you do is you do, let's make a round number and say 10 push-ups is decently hard for you. So what you're gonna do is 10 push-ups, 10 squats, five pull-ups, and then you're gonna go down. So eight squats, eight push-ups, eight, and you get what I'm saying. All right, be right back, hold on. All right, sorry, very busy right now trying to get shit done right before we leave. Anyways, what you do is you do 10 push-ups, 10. So what I would do is, to, this is my set. I do 20 push-ups, 20 pull-ups, 20 squats, okay? The next one, but usually pull-ups are much harder for people, so you can do half as many pull-ups. You basically break it down into five sets. The next one you do eight squats, or for me it's 16 squats, 16 pull-ups, 16 push-ups. The third set, you get what I'm saying, you go down one-fifth for each one. By the end of it, you have a full body workout. You, your whole entire blood is flowing. It's a great home workout for you guys to do. If you guys haven't yet, try that at home. Maybe, maybe if you're not super physically fit, you can just do five push-ups, five pull-ups, five squats, or even less. Maybe you substitute the pull-up, because I know pull-ups are really hard for some people. Do like sit-ups or something like that instead. It's something you can do in your house. I know a lot of people like these fitness tips. This is something that I do if I want to get a quick workout in, but I don't want to drive all the way to the gym or something like that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Obviously, I got a bunch of shit to do right now. I got to unload this freaking trailer that's right here. Unload it, reload it with a bunch of circus equipment, and finish the costumes and all kinds of stuff. Anyways, all right. Have a good night, guys. Drive safe. If you guys haven't yet, check out my footwear company, offaxisathletics.com, and smash that like button for me, and subscribe if you haven't yet. Peace, guys. Sorry today's video is boring, but I'm trying to get ahead on video so that way I have a video to post every single day while I'm gone for a week this next week. Peace guys.